Well, good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowan here with Yorksville First Midvale and Newport United Methodist Church coming at you with another devotional today. And our devotional today will be out of Joshua, Joshua 3, verse 7. And it says, And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day will I begin to magnify thee in the sight of all of Israel, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. And this is one of those, uh, this is one of the verses that, that when the Lord first spoke to Joshua telling him that, that he would be magnified just like Moses. Joshua was getting ready to be set up as the new leader of Israel. And so one of the very first things that God told Joshua is that he would be with him. But what I want to focus on with this verse is the, is the phrase, and the Lord said, or and then the Lord said. As you may or may not know, I'm in uh, Ashland Theological Seminary for my master's degree in divinity. And one of the classes I'm taking this semester is Hebrew. And so I'm learning the, the, the language of Hebrew. We're learning biblical Hebrew. And uh, what I, I love about that language is I've learned two words so far. It's been my first week. I've learned two words. And, and with those two words, I have learned 4% of the Hebrew Bible. And those two words are Vayomer Yahweh. And, and they are translated English the Lord said, or, and then the Lord said, and the, just what we read in Joshua, when it says, and the Lord said to Joshua, it was Vayomer Yahweh to Joshua. And, and I, I love the fact that, that these two words and the Lord said make up 4% of the Hebrew Bible, because I, I, I really think that shows how much the, the Hebrew people relied on hearing from God. If 4% of their entire language, 4% of their entire Bible consists of the word. And then the Lord said that really should tell you how much they depended upon God, how they truly truly listened to his voice. And when he said, go, they went. Now, yes, they grumbled. Yes, they, they backslid. Yes, they didn't always follow him, but they were constantly seeking messages from God. They were constantly seeking signs from God. They were constantly depending on God to tell them what to do. And when they were in need, the first thing they did is they prayed to God. In fact, you will often see a pattern that God will send the people of Israel troubles so that they will get down on their knees and pray to God. And so my devotional for you today is to be like the people of Israel to pay attention to the voice of God, to seek the voice of God, to truly wait for God to speak, because I promise you God still speaks today like he did in the in the Old Testament. Now, he often doesn't speak in the booming voices of thunder. Today, he mostly speaks in the quiet of our hearts as we pray or or in the, as we read the Bible, but we need to, like the people of Israel, we need to, to wait on, on the Lord and, and we need to wait on what he has to say. Vayomer Yahweh and the Lord said, the Lord has plans for you. And I promise you, if you trust in him, he will show you his path for you. Amen.